Now let's get started. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. We'll start by placing the first four bands on the loom. We'll start from the center pin. The first band that we place will be 1A. Our second band will move from the center pin out to the right. That's 2B. 3C will be placed from the left to the center. And 4D will be placed from the right to the center. We'll do this one more time. 1A, 2B, 3C, and 4D. Pause the video here and refer to the diagram on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. We'll fast forward from here. And the last band will be placed to the center. Let's take a moment here and push all of our bands about halfway down the pin. This will give you some room when you loop the bands. Now on this last pin, we'll need to place a cap band. You'll grab an A-colored band, put two fingers through each side, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on that last pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn your loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Refer to the diagram on your screen as we loop the first four bands. We'll start from the middle pin. You'll use your hook to pull back the cap band and grab band 1D Hold the cap band down with your thumb and loop the band out to the left side. It will form that teardrop shape. Band 2C will be looped next. Pull back the cap band with your hook. Grab that band and pull it to the right. Band 3B will be looped next. So you're going to pull back the top band, grab the B band, and you will pull that to the center. Then over to the right, we'll loop 4A. You reach in and pull that band above it back. Grab band 4A and pull it to the center. We've looped our first diamond. We'll do that again. Band 1D. Reach into the channel of the pin. Pull all the bands above that back. With your hook, you're going to grab the D band and pull it out to the left. Band 2C, you'll do the same thing. Reach into the channel of that pin, pull all of the bands above your C band back, grab the C band, and loop it to the right. 3B, you can reach into the point of that teardrop, pull that band back, grab your beat your B band and pull it to the center. Band 4A, again you can reach in here, pull that band back, grab your A band and pull it to the center. We'll fast forward from here. You may want to pause the video until you complete the looping process.
And there I've dropped my band. I'll show you how I fix that. You put your hook in, grab the band, pull it back up. Oops. You reach in with your hook, pull it up, and then place it over the pin again. And these last two bands we pull into the center pin. And there we finish looping all of our bands. Now it's time to finish the bracelet. On this last pin, you pull all the bands up to the top. You slide your hook down through the channel of that last pin and tilt it to the side. We grab an A-colored band and place it on the end of the hook, kind of pull back. Then we slide this hook back through the channel, put both bands on top of the hook, and move those up to the thickest part. Then with our fingers, we lift the bands off the loom and continue to pull our bracelet from the loom. When you finish making the diamond bracelet, it's a good idea to test the length of the bracelet around your wrist. It may be long enough for a child's wrist. As you can see, it almost fits around mine. So I'm not going to use as many extensions on this bracelet. So what you'll need to do is decide how many bands you'll use for your extension. I will probably only put three or four on this one to make it an adult size bracelet. If you need to extend, you place your bands on one side of the loom. And then on this last pin, you locate the cap band on the end of your bracelet. And then you stretch the cap band from that last pin to the one behind it. Then you loop those bands to form a single chain extension. And then on this last band, you stretch it to the center pin. This creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Hold your C-clip so that the open side is facing forward and place that over your bands. Then you can lift your extension from the loom. On the other side of your bracelet, you'll pull your band away, put your two fingers in that band and that creates another area to put the other side of your C-clip on. Move your bands to one side, put your C-clip over that band and pull it to the other. That secures your bracelet and there you have your finished diamond bracelet. We are done with your um, diamond bracelet. Just let you guys know, this one that I'm holding right now, the jelly type bracelet, is for a child's hand or for a teenage girl hand. If you are making it for a teenage boy or an adult, please make an extension right here. And that is it. So that is all to make for my in for the video today to make your diamond bracelet don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe at the um, button below and i'm gonna post my website where i sell my rubber bands